Welcome to the quiz review on machines for transportation. The first five questions are recall, so we should be able to find the answers directly in the text. Let's go ahead and get started. The first sources of transportation were boats, animals, or carts. I'm going to reference some lines out of the second paragraph, but it was not so long ago that people didn't have these machines. At first, everyone walked and carried loads on his or her back. Then people began to train animals. Soon travelers could ride horses, camels, or donkeys. Pack animals carried their baggage. You can imagine that in ancient times people had to walk to get places. The first thing they did to travel faster and carry more stuff with them was to domesticate horses, camels, and donkeys. Looking at what we've just read, stop the video and make your selection for question one. If you chose the first sources of transportation were animals, give yourself a plus one. Moving on to question two, the invention of the wheel made it possible to eliminate pack animals, harness the wind, move larger loads. Let's reference the text to see if we can find the answer. After the invention of the wheel, people built carts and wagons. With these wheeled vehicles, much larger loads could be carried. So first, people trained animals, then they invented the wheel. The combination of animals and wheels allowed people to travel further than they ever have. This method of travel is so popular that it's still used today. Using what we now know from the text, stop the video and answer question two. If you chose the invention of the wheel made it possible to move larger loads, give yourself a plus one. Moving on to question three, 19th century clipper ships depended on wind power, steam power, or gas power. Let's locate a piece in the text that gives us a clue to this question. Meanwhile, seafarers had known for centuries how to harness the wind. As time passed, shipwrights learned how to build bigger and faster sailing ships. Even so, when there was no wind, the 19th century clipper ship captain was no better off than the ancient Egyptian on a Nile barge. This is a 19th century clipper ship. According to the text, the ships couldn't operate without wind, so we are to assume that they ran on wind and sails. Hopefully the text has given you enough clues to answer question three. Stop the video and make your selection. If you chose 19th century clipper ships depended on wind power, give yourself a plus one. Moving on to question four, George Stevenson invented a steamboat, steam locomotive, or a gas engine. Let's search the text for some key evidence on this question. Then, in 1829, George Stevenson from England thought of mounting one of the new steam engines on a set of wheels. His, referring to George Stevenson, little locomotive was able to pull a train of small cars along a track about 20 miles an hour. The railroad age had dawned. Here's a picture of an early steam locomotive. Just think, it was less than 200 years ago that someone decided to put a motor on wheels. Did the text paint a good enough picture for you to answer the question? Stop the video and answer question four. If you chose George Stevenson invented a steam locomotive, give yourself a plus one. Moving on to question five. A fuel not used by ocean steamers was coal, gas, or wood. Referencing the text, steamboats were used on seas too. Paddle wheel ocean steamers always carried masts and sails in case they ran out of wood. Later, screw propeller vessels, which burned coal, were used. Every steam powered vehicle, train, or boat must burn something like wood or coal. The fire heats up water and turns it into steam, which is what powers the engine. Did the text provide enough clues to answer the question? Stop the video and make your selection for number five. If you chose a fuel not used by ocean steamers was gas, give yourself a plus one. Moving on to number six. You can conclude from the article that the biggest influence on transportation has been animals, the steam engine, or machines. The answers to these questions aren't found directly in the text, but you should be able to use the clues in the text to answer the questions. 
I'm going to highlight several lines. Even so, when there was no wind, the 19th century clipper ship captain was no better off than the ancient Egyptian on a Nile barge. Also, the railroad age had dawned. The steam engine became so improved that it seemed it would forever remain the chief means of powering transportation machines. But then the gasoline engine was invented, and together they would power most means of modern transportation. Animals with carts and sailboats carried civilization for thousands of years. The steam engine, which is a machine, dominated for less than a hundred years. Now we live in a world of gasoline and diesel machines. So what do you think? Stop the video and answer question 6. If you chose that the biggest influence on transportation has been machines, give yourself a plus one. Question 7 from the article, you can conclude that wind power is an efficient source of power, an unreliable source of power, no longer used as a source of power. Let's check the text for clues. Meanwhile, seafarers had known for centuries how to harness the wind. Even so, when there was no wind, the 19th century clipper ship captain was no better off than the ancient Egyptian on the Nile barge. Let me ask you this, if you wanted to sail across the ocean and there was no wind, what would you do? Hopefully you've used the text to come to the right conclusion. Stop the video and answer question 7. If you concluded that wind power is an unreliable source of power, give yourself a plus 1. Let's try question 8. A secondary power source for paddle wheel ocean steamers was water, wind, or gas. Let's search the text. Paddle wheel ocean steamers always carried masts and sails in case they ran out of wood. A mast, which is the pole that holds up the sails, is shown here. If you happen to be out on the ocean in a steam-powered ship and ran out of fuel, you would need a backup. The backup in this case was always a mast and sail. Let's see if you made the proper conclusion. Stop the video and answer question 8 now. If you chose a secondary power source for paddle wheel ocean steamers was wind, give yourself a plus 1. Moving on to question 9, the article suggests that transportation is more a luxury than a necessity, a necessary evil, necessary to the modern way of life. I'm going to reference several lines from the text. Transportation is something that touches everyone's life. Trucks carry goods along the highway, jets streak across the United States in about four hours, great liners plow the seas in impressive speeds, diesel trains roar over the rails from the Atlantic to the Pacific. Today, most people take transportation machines for granted. The food you ate today wasn't produced here. It was made somewhere else, packaged and shipped using trains, trucks, and boats. Nearly everything you touch had to be transported using machines. Stop the video and answer question 9. If you chose that the article suggests that transportation is necessary to the modern way of life, give yourself a plus 1. Question number 10. It is likely that the transportation industry will benefit from new inventions, will emphasize the past rather than the future, has reached its limits. After the invention of the wheel, people built carts and wagons. Then in 1829, George Stevenson from England thought of mounting one of the new steam engines to a set of wheels. At about the same time, American inventor Robert Fulton mounted a steam engine on a boat. Then later, we invented the gasoline engine. And then, the gasoline engine would soon meet stiff competition from the diesel engine. It seems to me as technology moves forward, so does the transportation industry. What can you conclude from reading the article? Stop the video and make your selection for question 10. If you chose that it is likely that the transportation industry will benefit from new inventions, give yourself a plus one. That concludes our lesson on machines and transportation. Thank you so much for watching. Click here to subscribe and click here for the latest videos. Have an awesome day.